Surprise! We are back in... San Ignacio. We were here a week and a half, two weeks ago. And it was an amazing time. Cute little town built around the mission behind us. And we said, well, let's come back on our way back to the United States. Yep, when we go heading back north, which we thought would be well, earlier next year. Three months, four months. Yes, in a few months. But we're here now. Yeah, see. So what had happened was we can't not make friends when we travel. That's that's a problem that we have. So we went out to the Bay of Conception. We found that nice little campground at El Coyote. We're camping on the beach. We're paddle boarding in the morning. We're snorkeling. We're swimming. We're fishing. Having a great time. But we're also making friends because that's what we do. We make friends. And as we were talking with one of our neighbors, we found out about this guy that they said, you've got to meet him. Steve is the guy you need to know for what you guys want to do in Baja. And we're like, sounds good. Let's meet Steve. Well, Steve left town. So our friends that we made were going to get our email addresses, send him our contact info, and have him email us back. Who knows when? We don't know when that or, would happen. Or but where we would be at our, the time. Yeah, exactly, or where we would be. Even if we could meet up with him, we don't know if that would have worked out. But the very next day, so we were thinking we we're gonna leave and then said, you know what, let's just do that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, Lindsay had to go down and give some money to some neighbors that we had borrowed money for to buy some bread the day before. And Lindsay's walking down the beach and all of a sudden Lindsay's back in the camper and she says, you won't believe this. Can you come right now? Can you, can you come here? Of course, when she says that, I'm like, of, of course I can. <laughs> and it just so happened that Steve came back and he was on the beach, was not supposed to be back at El Coyote, but he came back and so we met up with him. And immediately hit it off, felt like we were supposed to meet and we believe truly we were definitely supposed to meet, that God had ordained our meeting, that we changed our minds about leaving that day from the beach and that whatever reason Steve came back to the beach and we had a chance to meet. We got to talking and we were just thinking maybe he'd tell us about some people we should meet, some organizations we could work with. But instead, this is why we're in San Ignacio, he said, well, I'm going on a week long trip over on the West Coast and you're more than welcome to join the caravan. And immediately I knew what our answer was gonna be. Lindsay knew what our answer was gonna be. We didn't even talk to each other about no. it. We just <laughs> said, I just looked at Chris and I'm like, well, I guess we're going to have a change of plans. Yeah. So the first stop is San Ignacio. We are back here. It's Friday night. We parked on the square. We're really excited because the square is supposed to be really busy on Friday nights. Just after five o'clock when we pulled in, the sun's about to set. And apparently around seven o'clock or so, the party really gets started here. So, so we've heard. So we've heard. We'll find out. We'll find out. We might not be sleeping tonight. That's okay. And part of being here was we wanted to come back on a weekend night because we wanted to see what the town was like. Experience the culture. Oh, it's a small little town. It's built around this block and then there's a couple blocks that extend outside in each direction. But it's a small little town, so when something happens in town, everybody's out. So we were going to meet up with Steve and the caravan here in San Ignacio. And then we were going to head to Laguna San Ignacio and from that, we really aren't sure, and that's okay. We, yeah, we we'll keep, hit up some some small, we don't, what, rangitos? No, we don't even know. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have no idea, really, what we're doing. But Steve invited us into this adventure, this mission, this giving adventure, and we're really excited. We've got no idea what's in store for us, except when we were talking with him, there was a burning in my heart and Lindsay's heart where we said, we've got to go, yeah. we've got to do this. So we are here. We're excited. Um, the mission behind us is as beautiful as I remember it. And um, looking forward to seeing all the craziness tonight. Well, hopefully it's not too crazy. Yeah, I'd like to sleep at some point. But hopefully but. we're gonna see <laughs> the San Ignacio community come out and hang out. And if not, you know what? There'll be some kids to play soccer with. Yeah. So we're good at doing that.
So we're camped on the square at San Ignacio, and I'm going to go show you what's going on on a Friday night at the square. Nothing is going on. We thought there'd be all kinds of stuff going on on Friday night, but from what we understand, most of the kids are at home playing on their Xboxes and things like that. And the parents are watching cable TV. So the square is pretty dead right now. And that means I'm gonna go inside and we're gonna curl up and go to bed and head out on our adventure first thing in the morning tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. We're in the San Ignacio Square, just hanging out, waiting for Steve to show up. Once Steve gets here, we're going to load up and follow him out to the San Ignacio Lagoon. And you're going with us. All right. Let's get on to the Laguna. You ready? Ready. We're going down a road we haven't gone before. Half paved, half unpaved. Mostly paved, so, yeah. so we've heard. There's Here I Steve. go again on my own. Steve is from Oregon. He is a Baja expert. Been coming down here since the 60s. Going down That's the crazy. only road I've never known. <laughs> like a drifter I was born to copyright infringement. Yeah, I know. We do that all the time. <laughs> we keep getting notifications from YouTube. Stop singing, Chris. You're stealing all the music rights of people who are making billions of dollars. <laughs> you have 600 subscribers. We're going to slap you on the wrist so hard your wrist breaks. <laughs> on the way to the San Ignacio Laguna, the road is mostly paved, but there is a short 17 kilometer section that is not. Apparently the road did get washed out recently, but they have been fixing it, but it's still pretty bad. Yeah, the water's like three feet away yeah, from Yeah, the water's side, right? like on both sides of us. Shallow water, but it definitely, uh, you can see why it got washed out. Laguna and we are about to pull into Antonio's. They do eco whale watching tours here out on the lagoon. It's supposed to be one of the best places to come see whales, uh, the gray whales and their babies come around February, March. It's December so we're a little too early but we're not here to do that just yet. But if you do come this way, it is a lot harder to get to than the lagoon and Gray Negro, but we've heard great things and we've heard that it's better than Gray Negro. So if you don't mind driving the rough 17 kilometers it takes to get here, we recommend coming this way. 
this way to see the whales instead of going to burn their ground. Buttholes puckered up time. Buttholes puckered up time. <laughs> we are kicking up water. It must have rained recently because this is pretty bad. Oh my gosh. Our camper is going to be disgusting. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wish you could see this. see what the road did to our camper. I'm afraid it's going to be bad. Well, well, looks like we got some cleaning up to do. Wow, did the cabinet come down? Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's a first. This dropped. Medicine's what? all over the floor. Wow. Everything cleaned out of the shower. Oh, good news. What? Cream pie's out. <laughs> no, 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 no. So we're gonna clean this up first and then we'll go explore Antonio's. <laughs> oh, nice. This is the kitchen. Ever and, is, and they, because when they do whale watching and people stay in the cabins, they feed them three meals a day. Mm -hmm. This is the dining room. Oh, cool. This is so cute. So they set it up for the group that's going to be here. Yeah. And then these are the, they're talking about the bathroom in each uh, cabin now. Yeah. And these are the toilets and the buckets go in. Yeah. With their, uh, Oh, it's nice and clean. Yeah. <laughs> we got filthy. Perfect. People here are pretty much in the fishing industry. Oh, yes. During the hurricane stuff, this town floods. We are at the oyster factory. We're going to pick up a couple dozen oysters, hopefully. They're not going to get any fresher than this. I've had them before and I don't like them. <laughs> okay. Feria. Uh-huh. No más que no hay este grande. Uh-huh. Y como le dije ayer, usted que venía con Jorge, ¿ah? Did you come with Jorge yet? Yes, sí, sí. Sí, sí. Hay usted un chico. No está grande. Este es 70 pesos la docena ya. Okay. Seventy. 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 Uh, for dozen. Uh-huh. And 
they're not the big ones. Medio? Mediano? Hey, Mediano? Sí, sí. Okay. Está bien, bueno. dice. Sí. Pero este tampoco es chiquito y ese tiempo lo dábamos todavía. Y ahorita ya lo subieron nomás que se me hacen chicos. Pues. Son cuatro docenas en eso, poquito. Four, four four no, no estoy preparado ahora. So like ahora, ahora no estoy preparado. Están muy buenos. Es calidad, chico, it's, it's pero... Nice. Bueno. Chico, pero es calidad. Es No, o que you get just, in the kind of and then swallow it. As Enjoy is, everything. It. Yeah, not the shell. Yeah. <laughs> and I just play, feel the flavor. Exactly. And Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Mm. Kind of like wine tasting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Did you rather have wine? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is it muy bueno? How'd you like it? Más o menos. First time. <laughs> first time is Falta awesome. Falta el limón, pues. Sí, con limoncito. Sí. Sí. With lemon, with oh, lemon yeah. and yeah. soy. Sí. Yeah. Those Point. are medium size, that's good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, that's decent. That was good size. I know that the taste, you know, I mean, you don't have it. It's fresh. Yeah. Taste. I could taste the yeah. sea. See, sí, now they're getting ready to go. Asegur que están hondos estén también. And how deep from the water, you know, from the sea. Más hondo, crecen un poco más rápido. Pero la concha es frágil, no, no es igual que no es macizo como el deeper, Hace falta sol. Nada. Yo tampoco no. Antonio's is awesome. We will be back for sure. I'm thinking two, three, four months maybe. Stay here? Yeah. For that long? Okay, a couple weeks. <laughs> I already caught a flounder. And some other, a pretty fish. It was like striped, almost looked like a sea bass, kind of grouper-ish, small. I swam off when I put him back. Oh, really? You got it out? Good. I got my handy dandy. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds hot. The rest of the group comes in tomorrow. So today was kind of like a free day, fun day, hanging out with Steve. Took us into town and showed us around. And then uh, I think tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to go all the way out to the end of the Pacific uh -huh. and go check that in out. In the morning. In the morning. We also have dinner scheduled tonight with the family. So it's a pretty cool experience. Definitely wouldn't have planned this when we were planning out Baja. If I catch a pelican, I'm eating them. We'll see about that. <laughs>